This video will cover how content can be shared for collaboration in Microfocus Content Manager version 10.1. Content Manager offers both the ability to share documents using Content Manager capabilities and to integrate with Microsoft applications to support collaboration on those popular platforms. Traditionally, documents have been accessible based on searching or by browsing the categories and folders that those documents have been associated with within a file plan. Let's look at some other ways documents can be shared in Content Manager. Search criteria can be saved and shared among users. Users can perform these saved searches at any time and obtain the most current documents meeting the search criteria and filtered based upon their access rights. Users can create their own custom labels to tag documents. Custom labels function as personal categories which can be shared among users with the documents assigned browsable among all with access to the labels. Documents in Content Manager can be assigned a specific action step and a specific user who needs to perform the action. In this way, documents can be shared and acted on among peers. The user assigned the action gets an email notification with a link to the document. The user can review their instructions. They can perform the specific action required of them. Add notes relating to the action that they took. And then mark their action as completed. Content Manager's built-in workflow function can be used to enable document review and collaboration among multiple users. Email notifications alert users that there is a workflow activity to be performed. Users are taken to their assigned workflow activity. They can review their instructions and then they can review the documents assigned to them and perform any other actions. When done, users can mark the step for completion and pick the appropriate completion result. Content Manager supports sharing documents through email integration. Providing documents in an email is a common form of collaboration. With Content Manager, we can control who can access documents without proliferating copies of potentially sensitive content. A link to a document stored in Content Manager can be inserted into a message to enable the recipients to access that document in Content Manager, as long as they have access rights to do so. In our recipient's mailbox is the message now with the link embedded. If a recipient is a defined Content Manager user with appropriate access rights, they will be able to access the document and collaborate with other recipients. Now let's take a look at how Content Manager can be leveraged with popular collaboration tools. Content Manager is integrated to SharePoint to provide what is known as a Manage in Place capability. This permits SharePoint documents to be registered into Content Manager without the electronic document being relocated to the Content Manager repository. Note that this document is unregistered currently and has not been assigned a record ID in Content Manager as of yet. When I start the management process, a request is sent to a background task that performs the registration of the document in Content Manager. Now this document is registered in Content Manager and has an associated record number assigned. 
We can also automatically manage documents and other content manager actions within SharePoint through automated lifetime management policies. An automated policy can consist of multiple rules based on SharePoint property values or time durations coupled to a specific content manager action. We'll locate the document in Content Manager now. While this document is registered in Content Manager, the document file still remains in SharePoint. A retention rule has been automatically assigned. And Content Manager has a path to the document in SharePoint if an action must occur while the document is in SharePoint, like retention-related destruction. The document remains shareable and editable for collaboration in SharePoint while its retention is managed by Content Manager. Content Manager supports checking out content to MS OneDrive to facilitate collaboration. When integration to OneDrive is enabled, a checkout to OneDrive command is available for use. Once checked out to OneDrive, OneDrive sharing feature is used to invite others to start collaborating on the shared document. The shared document can be edited by all with the access link. When all have added their edits to the document, it can be checked back into Content Manager. A new revision of the document is saved with the changes. In Content Manager version 10.1, chats, posts, and files within Microsoft Teams can be saved into Content Manager. There is both a user-driven and automated way to save content from Teams into Content Manager. The user-driven method uses a Content Manager app which is deployed in the user's Teams environment. Users have a filterable view of objects in the current channel to discern filed objects in Content Manager from unfiled objects. When the user decides to file an item into Content Manager, they check that item in and complete the check-in form with the appropriate metadata. A copy of that item is now in Content Manager with a record ID. This content is managed for both compliance and retention in Content Manager now. To enable automated content capture, administrators use a Content Manager administration app installed in Teams to identify specific users and channels whose content should be periodically exported into Content Manager. These channels have assigned check-in styles for files or posts to control data assigned to the exported content. Looking at a monitored channel in Teams, we see several posts with corresponding responses added over time. There is also a file added to this particular channel. Users can access the saved files and posts either through the Content Manager app in Microsoft Teams or through the other Content Manager clients. If any new content is added to a saved post, that content is added as a new revision to the captured post in Content Manager the next time the collection service runs. This concludes this overview of collaboration capabilities in Content Manager. Please check out the more in-depth videos of SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams integration to Content Manager on the Microfocus IMG YouTube channel.